Salutations and good morrow everyone welcome back to another grounded update video where today we're hopping in and talking how to make some of the most powerful weapons that have ever been seen in grounded without using cheats and stuff like that guys i mean come on modding that's really cool using admin commands yeah you can do that to give yourself some new stuff but <clears throat> let's talk how to make legitimately now the most powerful weapons in the game also guys please make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to the bell notification do all and also please don't forget to comment down below of which of the weapons that we can craft now is going to be your favorite so First of all, let's talk the weapons. So, as we all know, you have the Mint Mace, the Club of the Mother Demon, and the Antlion Greatsword. Those are your three tier three weapons. Very, very strong, okay? The other thing that you can use is, if you really wanted to, a Bone Trident or maybe a Crow Crossbow. Those would be considered like the top of the top of those items. And now, yes, they also added the Black Ant Sword. But, let's talk pure strength pure power pure damage that's going to be coming out so what we're going to do today is i'm going to be walking you guys through how to use the new upgrading station with the club of the mother demon and at the end adding some perks to it as well and give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough of the new perks that are getting added to the game so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have yourself your weapon i have my uh, club of the mother demon right here the next thing you're going to want to make sure that you do is have a lot of <clears throat> a lot let me repeat myself a lot of quartzite because you need to upgrade it okay and you're going to need yourself a smithing station in order to make a smithing station you are going to need 10 quartzite one weed stem four crude rope and two sap once you have one of those built you'll just go in here and select your weapon okay you're gonna go select and then here is the upgrade amount that you're going to need. So you're going to need two to start off with. So let's upgrade it. Boom. What I just did is I brought my regular Club of the Mother Demon up 10% damage. So now if we look, it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But let's compare them inside of the inventory here. So here's the damage of this one. The damage of this one is up just slightly more. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, but the damage will actually go off the charts with this weapon when it's fully upgraded right now. So I'm going to go back right over here. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to grab my tier one mother demon sword. So we go from 10% to 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% with 32 quartzite shards. That's why in the earlier video today, I told you guys that you are going to need a lot of quartzite and that's one of the things you should start grinding right now. So that way you guys have plenty of it for the update when it actually releases for everybody. So I'm going to upgrade it one more time. All right, let's look at it in comparison here. Okay. So here's the regular one. This one's damage is now 50% higher than what it was. So literally take this, add it on to the end. The Club of the Mother Demon is crazy powerful now, now that it's been fully upgraded. And, let's face it, it looks really freaking cool, too. Okay? So, now you have a fully upgraded Mother Demon Club. This is where these little, uh, ovens come into play. Okay? So, first of all, I got a bunch of mint globs. Second of all, I got a bunch of spicy globs. Third thing, I got a bunch of salty globs. And... Those are mainly the three that you're going to want to focus on. Okay, if you'd come in here, you can make quartzite globs. It takes 10 quartzite per quartzite glob, and you need to get that recipe from a burgle chip that's inside of the ant base, instead of one of the haze bases. I'll talk to you guys about that in another video because I want to give a complete walkthrough of all the burgle chips and what they unlock. But that's kind of where you go and get that quartzite glob from. Now, what you need to do next is you need to come in here and you need to make a very tough decision because once this decision is made, you can't make it again. So first of all, you can go down the mighty path. Okay, the mighty path is going to add more damage and durability to your weapon and make it a mighty club of the mother demon. Okay, this is a final upgrade. You get to do it two more times. So you go up to level six, making it mighty, and then you go one more time and it will be the final upgrade because you can upgrade your weapons seven times. Okay, so say you use something that say wasn't the Club of the Mother Demon. Say maybe you are a bow user. Okay, and you're not really a big fan of the crow crossbow. So you use the insect bow instead. Okay, so you make one of those. You get it all the way upgraded, right? then you need to choose at that point which damage type you want to go down okay now do you go down mighty so that way you have a crazy strong uh bow 
or do you decide to go down one of the elemental versions of damage that are in the game? Now, this doesn't add like a cool effect to your weapon yet, or it doesn't add a cool new look to your weapon yet. I'm hoping they add something like that in the game, but for now, they don't have that. But what you do need to do is you need to decide whether or not you're going to add an enhanced effect to your weapon and which one it's going to be, either minty, spice, salty, or spicy and there are different bugs in the yard that are more susceptible to certain types of damage meaning they take more damage from certain types right slashing blunt uh, chopping things like that they'll take more damage from them because it depends on the type of enemy that they are same goes for the element of damage that you're gonna be doing against them for instance is an antlion really gonna be that susceptible to a spicy weapon? I don't know. Do I think they're gonna be more susceptible to like a cool weapon? Yes, in my opinion, I think that they will. The fresh weapon I think will do more damage. The other thing I wanna point out with this is that if you decide to go down one of these paths, it makes it a spicy club of the mother demon or a salty club of the mother demon or a fresh club of the mother demon. But it doesn't give you that extra 5% that Mighty does. It gives you 10% still, but it doesn't give you that extra 5%. So be very careful when going through and selecting these upgrades because it does, there, there's pushes and takes. There's pulls and takes and takes and pulls and, and all of that when it comes to upgrading these weapons with everything. Personally, just because it sounds cool, I'm going to do a spicy Club of the Mother Demon because I'm feeling spicy today. But what you're going to need uh, first is five of the globs of spicy candy in order to make it. Then you're going to need 10. And then you'll get up to 70%, which is a crazy number of damage. 70% plus damage. You're almost to 100% more damage, especially with something like the Club of the Mother Demon. That's crazy. Crazy. So, you now have an epically strong weapon. You have a spicy Club of the Mother Demon or Club of the Mother Demon level 6 spicy, but you now have a crazy powerful weapon and all it takes is around 60 quartzite to get there and a couple pieces of uh, goo. Now you make the goo, like I said, inside of the oven. Each of the globs you make inside of the oven, they do take quite some time to be broken down. So for instance, since the beginning of this video, I've only made two more spicy shard globs. So be careful with when you're doing this because all of these are going to take a lot of time. But guys, that is all the time that I have left for today. I hope you guys really like this video because I really enjoy making these for you guys. And I want you guys to see all of them. So make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notification to all because I'm posting five videos a day right now, whether it's four videos in a live stream or five videos and YouTube will literally only show you three of them if you do not have the bell notification set to all. So make sure you guys do that. Also, please do not forget to leave me a comment down below of what weapon you want to upgrade first and what path you would take it down as well. Also, keep an eye out for that video where I give you guys a breakdown of all the different damage types and which bugs are the most susceptible to them and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one